Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've just got to Delamere Forest. I'm going for a run. The reason why I've came is because I've wanted to do it for a while and the weather's quite nice. It's a nice and toasty four degrees. But yeah, it's just something that I wanted to do for a while and this year is all about me just getting stuff done, essentially, that I want to do. Obviously, this isn't a major one. It's about a 15 mile drive from my house to get to Delamere. It is absolutely rammed today. I was so lucky getting a parking space. But on the way over here, it's always a bit nostalgic because I go through where I used to row and obviously I spent a good amount of time over this part just rowing every week and I had friends over here parties and stuff like that so it's always nice but yeah we are here to do a run nothing major basically I'm going to go for a run and stop every now and again and talk through my goals and plans for 2024 gonna do a bit of a warm up i need to figure out exactly where i'm actually running because i have no idea to be quite honest and i'm hoping there's going to be some sort of maps to say where the running routes are because i know there are some i just have no idea i'll probably just wing it and uh stop off every now and again to have a bit of a chat but yeah i've got my new gopro uh hero 12 i thought i'd treat myself for my christmas bonus because my other gopro broke when i lent it to a mate to go on holiday with the sd card just won't read anymore so i thought i'd treat myself get the brand new one it just makes it easier as well to do this sort of content imagine me trying to run around with a camera and get different angles and stuff it's just not going to work i also have all like the head mounts the chest mounts so it's going to be a lot easier to do sort of action content so yeah let's go and figure out where i'm going to be running and uh, i'll catch you in a bit So I was aiming for the Blakemere Trail. I think I might already be going the wrong way. But we'll see where this ends up. I feel like I'm definitely going the wrong way. I seem to be coming across less and less people. And I was meant to be going around the lake, but yeah, I'm going further and further away. So I'm going to have to bang a right at some point or just turn around. Not a good start to the vlog, must be said. But, nice change of scenery. Nice easy pace. Uh, 5.30 pace at the moment, per kilometer. Nice and easy. Just over a K in as well, so I've potentially ran a K in the complete wrong direction. It's really weird, there's like old path all along here. I just wonder how old it is. And what they used to use it for. Because it's steep. Jeez, I'm going to have to be careful. Not to fall. Right, which way to go? Left or right? Uh, Let's go left. I think this will make it a bit longer. Now that I need it. So we just hit 2k. Um, I'm not on the right trail that I was expecting to be on. However, I am on the bike trail, which I guess isn't a bad thing because it will eventually lead me back to the car park. I've got my phone with me. I've had to put it around my forearm because my arm's too big for the, the strap, which wasn't ideal. I couldn't get it tight properly. And then when I did, it was basically cutting the circulation off to my arm, which not ideal but yeah it's just nice to get out and about do something different uh different scenery instead of plodding along concrete or in a gym for goals this year i've got quite a few one of them you can probably see i'm looking pretty tired one of the things i want to focus on is my sleep massively it's something that i sort of neglect uh, and don't make a priority as much as I probably should uh, and then also that links in with nights out as well because I don't really get hangovers I don't stop drinking like I don't have a drinking problem but I don't have like a reason to stop drinking like I'm gonna have a really bad hangover the day after the thing I struggle with is the sleep so quite often you may see on my Instagram story I'm getting in at like six seven in the morning and that is purely just me staying awake a lot of people that I work with seem to think it's like drug field. Never even touched a cigarette, so it's nothing even remotely like that. I've got some people coming by now anyway. 
as I was saying, people have gone now. There are more people coming now. Most people, like when I say I get in at like six in the morning, they think it's like Brookfield, which is very common at this age, but it's something that I'm very against personally. Like you can do it if you want to, it's your body, but not for me. I haven't even never tried the cigarette, so it doesn't even bother me. Another thing I'd like to do as well that links into all the sleep stuff is start a business. Once I get my accountancy exams passed, I want to start a business. I'm not going to tell you too much about what it is yet. There was like a bit of a hint about probably about six months ago now but again i can't be going on like nights out when i'm absolutely knackered on a sunday not really feeling like doing anything if i want to be running a business on the side of my job as well as my youtube podcast and online coaching i've also just looked at how far off the trail i am i'm basically on the edge of delamere forest i don't know if you can see where that dot is but i'm meant to be a lot closer to this lake um so it's going to be a longer run than expected but as well as I'm in no rush whatsoever I'm running at like a 5.30 pace nice and easy there's a lot of hills as well so let's get going again because I am getting cold probably got that out of really quickly just because people were walking by with dogs and stuff and still not 100% comfortable with like vlogging in public especially talking about things like goals and stuff like that big one this year is sort my sleep out get into a decent routine and just become more productive to be quite honest Just over 5k now, running at a 520 pace, actually sped up a little bit. Just came off the trail a little bit, just because you saw how busy it was in the last shot. And there's nowhere to uh, prop the GoPro up to speak. Another one of my goals this year is to become more consistent on social media again. Obviously, I moved out towards the back end of last year, a lot of decorating and stuff like that to do. And also I had my final accountancy exam. So I was pretty occupied with all that, so I put Everything else on the back burner. Oh, I keep losing my phone. It keeps falling off my arm. My aim is to get consistent again on social media. Once I get my accountancy qualification out of the way, I do get my results soon. If it's passed, full steam ahead. If not, I'm resitting in February and hopefully we get the result that we want then. It's all systems go then. We're gonna get really consistent with YouTube get back on the podcast and then that'll sort of filter through for content on uh, other platforms like Instagram and TikTok and things like that. So consistency is another one of my goals for 2024. We've got 1.2 miles to go to the car. I'm sure I'll probably end up detouring the wrong way again. I may do a little bit extra. I could probably cross the road and do like a small loop. Probably end up getting lost again and making it a big loop, but feeling pretty good. I like the little start stops for content and stuff and just not having to worry about the time to be honest. Just enjoying being out in a bit of nature for a change instead of, like I said before, the, the concrete. Be nice to live sort of closer to this, but it's a little bit too far to do on a regular basis. But I may do it once a week, who knows? We'll see. Right, I'm gonna get running again. Six point three four K five seventeen pace. I'm nearly there. I went the wrong way. Went straight past the car park. Just got back to the car park. Just over eight K. Longer than I planned. The trail I was supposed to go on was five point eight K and as you can see I got lost a few times. I went straight past the car park at one point, didn't even realise. Really enjoyed that. Definitely gonna do it more often. Just something different. Um I was thinking as well on the way around, I'm pretty sure it's five years since I did my ACL and obviously if you've been following me for a while you know that I've not had it operated on. I've also got a tear in my meniscus. I'm really glad that I can still do these things without having the op. Um, got put through some really good uh, rehab with 
Andy Renshaw. He was an absolute belter, real professional. Like he was head of physio at Liverpool back in the day, so he knows what he's talking about. And he's got me back doing all these events, and that is another one of my goals this year is to do as many events as I possibly can. If you've seen my last video, you'll know that I'm now training for a High Rocks. That is the 3rd of March in Madrid. I'm doing that in a double. So really looking forward to that one. I do need to look at signing up for other things so I can start really sort of training towards them instead of giving myself like eight weeks like I pretty much have done for this. It's eight weeks today, I think it is. So yeah, really grateful that I can still do all these things even with a torn ACL and a, a tear in my meniscus and have next to no issues. Um, I do think at one point I'll probably need a probably a full new knee but until that day comes I'm gonna do as much as I possibly can so a little recap of the goals then so one really focus on my sleep make that more of a priority two uh, start a business three be more consistent online uh, in terms of content uh, YouTube podcast Instagram and then TikTok <coughs> And then, uh, last one, sign up and do as many events as I possibly can. They are the main goals for this year. I'm sure there's probably others that I've missed, but I'll probably pick them up in other videos. If you've enjoyed this one, uh, drop it a like. If you're new, subscribe, and I'll see you with the next one. Just got home. It made me laugh on the way back driving, uh, going down the hill in towards Frodham. If you know it, it's very steep, and uh, that is where we used to ride our bikes during the summer uh, when we were rowing. And that's a 30 mile an hour road, and at times we would potentially overtake cars, and it makes me laugh now, because it was so dangerous, and it is something that I would not even think of doing now. But yeah, just stupid kids with no fear of death apparently. Anyway, I am gonna get in now. I am absolutely starving. It is now nearly half three. I haven't had any lunch, so gonna go get some food. But as I've mentioned, really enjoyed that run out in the forest. Probably gonna do it a lot more regularly as well. I'm gonna see if any of the footy lads fancy it as well, uh, just to mix it up a bit more than anything. Big year ahead, lots of goals to get smashed. I haven't spoke through everything as well. There's like a lot more stuff I actually wanna do this year. I just went over the main ones, but really big year. And I'm gonna essentially use YouTube a little bit to keep myself accountable with that as well. So if you wanna come along for the ride and enjoyed that video, make sure you drop a like. If you are new, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.